Welcome back to Post Time. Eddie Davis Jr. recently won a race at Harrington Raceway. Now, Eddie is one of the track's all-time leading drivers. So, what's the big deal about that? Well, he's been on a hiatus almost the entire year. Doctor's orders. Let's find out more. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, now you drove on January 17th and you didn't drive until August 23rd again. So why? I tore some tendons in my arm. I was laid up for a while. Well, exactly like which arm? Let's take a look. Left. Okay. What, what's this a cause from? Is it from driving horses that pull a lot? Or is it, you know, something that you've had all your life that you knew eventually your arm was just going to, you know, start to pull on a tendon? No, I don't, I don't know. I'd done something to it, and I kept driving for like two months, and then it got really bad. So what did you do for seven months? Worked. You still worked in the barn? Oh, yeah. Janet kept me busy. Uh, now, did you drive Janet on a scale from 1 to 10? Because we knew, you know, you drove her a little bit crazy. But was it a 1, a 5, a 10? What do you think? 10. <laughs> he seems so proud about that. <laughs> so tell me, how great did it feel to get back into the winter circle? It was good. It was good. Well, I was happy to win and be back. but We're happy to have you back, Eddie. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Why don't we check out a little of that race when the winner circle welcomed back Eddie Davis Jr. They're at the top of the stretch and Devil's Embrace has moved off by three lines. It's Devil's Embrace, astounding Hanover down the inside, outside go both ways, coming toward the wire. Devil's Embrace, it's Devil's Embrace, astounding Hanover, followed by go both ways and three swings, 154 and two. Devil's Embrace with Eddie Davis Jr. in the bike wins in 154 and 2 for owners J&E Stable and Al Moore Jr. The nine year old pacer went gate to wire for the victory. He's trained by Eddie's wife, Janet, and let's chat with her now. Now, you know your husband isn't really a chatterbox. <laughs> I, oh. I hold that part of the relationship. <laughs> so why don't you go into a little detail about his arm um, uh, and what happened? Well, he started having pain last September. Let it go. Of course, all horsemen are doctors. Um, finally went to the doctor in January. They pulled him from racing. He tore the tendon from the bone in the elbow going through the arm in three places. And then you just had to keep going back to the doctor till they're was, like, hmm. uh, He kind of said it was like tennis elbow times 10, but then when they did the MRI and seen the tears, he was um, on the verge of possible surgery or time, and he chose the time. The surgery was gonna be a cast from the wrist of the shoulder for eight weeks and then, or four months, yeah, four months, not eight weeks, and then um, four months of rehab. So it kind of worked out the same without the surgery. So. Okay. Now, he said he was still going to the barn and working, all right? However, when you're a driver and you're not driving, uh, uh, how crazy did he make you? What, were you crazier um, or was he crazier from not working? It was tough on both of us, you know, um, especially with the babies. You know, you work getting them ready to get them ready for these stake races and then not allowing him to drive them really drove them nuts. But, um... He wasn't too bad, and plus I had to do all the shipping and stuff, so I wasn't home much, so <laughs> that helped out a lot. Um, yeah, and you know, there's great drivers out there. Most certainly. My hat goes off to Vinnie Copeland, Ross Wolfenden. Mike Rossi, he was also a big help. He helped me with my two-year-olds, training them down at Harrington and stuff, and he did some driving for us as well. Victor Kirby went above and beyond the Call of Duty. He was really there for me. He went to Dover and met me and helped me train in sets with the three-year-olds. He really helped me out a lot. Everybody, I mean, even fellow horsemen come up. Is there anything we can do to help? 
that's once again harness racing is one big family <laughs> well you do so much so it's <laughs> nice that um, well, thank you. okay i was gonna say don't laugh it's so true okay now how happy how ecstatic <laughs> how absolutely thrilled were you when your husband won with devil's embrace it was almost like 20 years ago when we first won our first race together, believe it or not, 20 years ago. <laughs> but um, I'm very happy for him. It took the pressure off coming back, and he got the job done. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Heather.